This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, December the 28th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at the temperature trace from my weather station down in Helena. And uh, once again, an interesting trace. When it should have been falling overnight, it was actually rising. Not much, admittedly, not much. Rising from about 52 degrees around 6 p.m. to a uh, high uh, overnight of about 56. But kind of interesting that the... The entire weather trace here, the temperature trace, is out of phase with what we consider to be typical. From the Alpha SkyCam Network, there's a look at the wet streets at Fayette as rain continues across much of central Alabama. And the lights from the city of Birmingham reflecting off those low clouds, and you can see the wet areas below. The weather system is slow to move by as the upper uh, low is kicking out of the southwestern U.S., so uh, the, the Everything becomes uh, pretty zonal here shortly, and that means the cold air stays well to our north. There's a look at the upper air pattern at 500 millibars, or roughly about 18 to 20,000 feet. And you can see the nice fetch of southwesterly moisture coming in all the way from the Pacific and across Mexico and the western Gulf up across the area. And then with the high pressure at the surface off to our east, we're getting good southerly flow. So the bottom line is the atmosphere is quite wet. Temperatures uh, across the country vary quite a lot. It's very cold behind that front, but you have to get back uh, into Nebraska and Iowa uh, where you get into the single-digit values. But across the southeastern U.S., we tend to be uh, somewhat uh, mild with temperatures staying in the 50s across central Alabama. Rainfall, you can see that we're still continuing to see rain all the way back into southeast Texas, so the rain continuing and flash flood Watches continue in effect for parts of Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana for uh, the rest of today and into early tonight. And additional rainfall on the order of about one inch, maybe even a little bit more, maybe one to two inches are possible over this area. So flooding is uh, a real possibility. And the Storm Prediction Center is not uh, out looking any organized severe thunderstorms, but due to instability values, we expect to see some thunder uh, and uh, hear some thunder and see some lightning across parts of southern Alabama, the southern about the southern two-thirds of Alabama and southern uh, Mississippi. All right, let's get to the 06 ZGFS model run this morning, and there's a look at the uh, the flow pattern at the surface, and you can see that we the front is more or less kind of becoming uh, parallel to the upper flow. And uh, there's the upper flow as the trough is beginning to kick out today. But that trough kicks out and moves by quickly. But in the meantime, a bigger trough, a bigger short wave is digging into the southern Rockies and back into the Four Corners area in the southwestern United States. And uh, so that keeps uh, that we do dry out enough. So Monday, I think the rain ends probably by the time we head to work. On Tuesday, uh, that flow remains very zonal for us, and it stays that way into Wednesday. So while we cool down, the air doesn't become ex especially cold, and we can notice on the uh, surface map for Wednesday the 31st, the last day of 2014, that the 540 line is up in the vicinity of central Tennessee. So the cold air staying well to our north and to the northwest, not getting down into our neck of the woods. We come under weak ridging on uh, Thursday as the trough digs in and we see a closed low uh, just to the west of the Four Corners area, and that begins to come out on Friday. And so we're going to see some action on Friday as the moisture increases once again and we have rain as a good possibility, I would say at least rain likely, uh, for the uh, central Alabama area. On Saturday, the uh, little shortwave trough ejects out as it's weakening coming through the flow, and we end up with uh, the front uh, once again coming through our area on Saturday. So it looks like another round of wet weather. Perhaps not quite as wet as this one, but we should be starting 2015 on a wet note. And then we end up with, according to the GFS, we end up with a bit of a long wave trough position over the central um, part of the United States. And so once again, that... Uh, loses the front loses its push so the rain may linger into early sunday uh, as we get out into voodoo country and voodoo country remains pretty active there's a look at tuesday the 6th and it's kind of a coolish look not especially cold but this looks like some colder air getting down into our area uh, finally we get out to the 10th and that looks even colder as the trough is a little bit sharper uh, and we get a little bit more of a northwesterly fetch and then we get out to around the 12th of january of 2015 and we see a nice short wave trough coming across that is another wet look 
uh, to the overall pattern. So no rest in the weather department whatsoever. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for the latest updates. I hope that you have a great day. Stay safe in the heavy rain and flood situation, and Godspeed.